the first day of spring and even though I've pretty much been quarantining this whole week because this week is the week I actually leave for Los Angeles. Had to come out today so I'm down by the river. It's very very peaceful. There's still a lot of wind but it's the first day that there's blue skies in over a week and I am so grateful. And what better a day to have blue skies than the first day of spring. Yeah, I am super, super excited to be out. It feels good. I think staying inside kind of doesn't really bring me a lot of joy. So I'm glad to be out and the sunshine is out. So I thought I would go on a little walk today down by the river. Yeah, it's a lonely like a sheen to them. I've never seen these before. So pretty. so good. I got some puppy love. A dog uh, came up and wanted to play so that was really nice. So it's a good start to the day. So I found my tree again and uh, when I was walking up I found this really pretty rock. I don't know if you could see it. I'll have to show you guys a better um, view of it. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of kids running by. Uh, this day is just, it's a good day today. I'm very happy and much needed because I've been feeling kind of down because I'm leaving Paul for a whole month and that's always kind of difficult. It's really hard to have like two homes pretty much and I'm like kind of stuck because there's my family and friends that I really miss and then of course when I leave here I really miss Paul and Sophia so it's a little bit hard but I'm also very excited to see everyone and uh, just being out I think really really helped <laughs> calm my spirits and of course uh, being with this tree again is always nice um, but yeah I'm glad I get to take you guys along today and that the sunshine is back and Hopefully Paul's spirits are lifted too because he's been feeling really down as well and it's hard because he really misses Los Angeles and he really would like to go back but uh, as many of you know he's not back allowed in the States for 10 years so yeah it's always tough. Until winter comes, until winter comes, until winter comes, it really makes me wonder. Look at how many flowers are behind me. So many flowers everywhere. They're just blooming everywhere. And the trees are still bare, but I am so excited because by the time I come back, I'm going to be leaving for a month. So by the time I come back, it's going to be the end of April and all the trees should be green and the poppies should be blooming around that time. So I am really excited that when I come back, the weather is going to be perfect here in Provence. And yeah, I'm excited to have some shade that will be provided from the trees. Yeah, it's just been an overall great day. I'm gonna head back to the house right now. I have to take care of a few things. Um, I have to print out like the paperwork and the forms that the airlines uh, request and just start getting finalized with uh, things before I leave. 
but I had to show you this, these flowers behind me. So pretty. Yeah, I wonder. This salad looks delicious. I need to eat healthy before I go to LA because I'm going to be eating lots of junk vegan food. Okay, it is time to pack. I am leaving in two days. Today is Tuesday and I'm leaving on Thursday. So I have to start packing. I just wanna have everything done um, today. That way, Wednesday, I don't have to worry about anything. I'm a little sad, to be honest. I'm really excited to go see my family and friends and I cannot wait. <laughs> I'm very, very excited, but then there's also a piece of me that is really sad because I'm leaving Paul and Sophia for a whole month and it's really hard. It's really hard that Paul can't come with me and see my family and our friends back home. That's one of the downfalls, I guess, of living abroad is I have two homes and I'm pretty much stuck between and no matter where I'm at, I'm missing somebody. I'm super, super close with my family. Super close. And I cannot wait to see them. It's like a year since I've been back home. So it's going to be so nice. But I'm starting to like already miss Paul and I haven't even left yet. And he's at work and we're just texting each other. Saying how much we miss each other already. And it's really hard for us to be apart. Especially for that long. He's like my favorite person in the world and I always want to be with him and spend time with him um, but yeah it's gonna be a little difficult but I know him and Sophia will be waiting for me when I get back home and yeah I gotta start packing <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to fit everything in this suitcase. I have so many goodies that I'm taking home for friends and family. And then, not only in that bag, but in this drawer, I have so much stuff. Oh my gosh. So all this has to fit in my suitcase. 
I'm actually not going to be taking a whole lot of like clothes um, because I'm going to go thrift shopping. I'm super excited about that. And yeah, let's see how this goes. So the good thing is the majority of stuff I'm bringing is going to be like gifts for my family and friends. And then pretty much everything else is going to be uh, like PJs, maybe a pair of jeans and some summer dresses because the weather is going to be good there. I'm so excited for that because um, I'm going thrift shopping when I'm there. I miss thrift stores and yeah, I'm very excited. So I'm not going to pack a whole bunch of clothes because I want to be bringing a whole bunch of clothes back from the thrift shops and probably Target as well because um, I miss Target so much. But yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> kind of feel overwhelmed. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff. I have so many chocolate bars. Hopefully that doesn't <laughs> weigh too much. Also, I got this today from the market when I went out to go grab some extra goodies. My uncle wanted more chocolate, so I went to go get him some more. But I found this bag so big. I love it. I've been looking for like a bigger bag for me to carry and all of the like basket bags they have leather handles and I found this one I love it it's gonna be perfect for me for summer with some summer dresses you guys an update it turned into taking out all of my spring and summer clothes and I'm about to empty my closet space that's full of my winter clothes because by the time I come back here, it's not gonna be cold and I'm gonna be able to just wear sundresses and uh, shorts. So yeah, oh my gosh. So this turned into more than I thought it would. It's okay, I'm happy I'm getting this out of the way. All right, I have to finish up. <laughs> okay guys, I did it. I packed my suitcase. I took more clothes than I thought I was gonna take. I just thought I should be prepared and try not to buy too much, but I don't know. I love the thrift stores and they always have good deals. So I packed enough things uh, that should last me a while and I was able to fit everything and I still have my empty carry-on case and then I'm either going to take a backpack with me or maybe I'll just wear this. Um, I'm all set, I'm all packed, I got all my stuff ready for when I come back, that all my spring wardrobe and summer wardrobe will be out. That's the one thing is this is like our only closet space in the house. We do have a, a closet in the bathroom, but that's where we keep like all our cleaning supplies and Paul has some of his jackets in there. So that's the downfall of living in a small apartment. But I'm gonna try when I go back to LA to like start a capsule wardrobe because I don't have a lot of space. I need to shop smartly instead of buying things that are, what is the word? Trending. Instead of buying things that are trending, buy things that are going to go with other pieces, with other tops and bottoms and uh, stop buying trending pieces because I have done that a lot and then I end up giving it away So I have a bag already of stuff that I need to go drop off at the donation or Paul will have to do it because I'm leaving So yeah enough rambling I'm done and Air France just sent me an email saying that I can actually upload all the documents uh, For my flight like my COVID tests or my doctor's note and all of that stuff so I can actually upload all that now to make sure it's out of the way and taken care of and that I won't have to do anything when I get to the airport, so. So it is the day before my flight and 
I uploaded all of my documents for Air France to see. They approved everything. They approved uh, me flying with like my positive COVID test that I got and my doctor's notes stating that I have already recovered from COVID. And so they approved everything. And so now that they've approved everything, I thought it would be a good idea for Paula and I to go out on a date night. So we're gonna go to a restaurant that we went to for our first date here in Aix-en-Provence called Sushi Caron. So I'm super excited to go on a date with him. I miss him already. But yeah, I better start heading there because I'm meeting Paul at his work and then we're gonna walk over to the sushi restaurant. So I gotta head out, um, but let's head out to the city center. We made it to our restaurant. We're the only ones here at 7 p.m and the French just eat late, so we have this whole space to ourselves. Sophia giving her treats because I try and hug her and tell her I love her and she just wants to leave. Yeah, why? I think because of all the baggage. I'm gonna miss you so much and I love you and everything's gonna be okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't want to leave you. I don't want to leave you. Someday when I've grown older I can see it all clear from 